The president of Iran is blaming the U.S. and Israel for nationwide protests against the Islamic Republic's treatment of women. While government leaders are calling for unity as security forces violently clash with protesters across the country, demonstrations are showing no signs of slowing down, and that's three weeks after they first started. The protests, of course, were sparked by the death of 22-year-old Masa Amini, who died after being detained by Iran's morality police for allegedly wearing her hijab loosely. CBS News foreign correspondent Roxana Saberi joins us for more now. Roxana, I know that you have a unique perspective on Iran, and you've said that you've never seen anything like this in the country. Can you tell us a little bit more about that and what makes us different? Yeah, Lilia, I've never seen protests so widespread in Iran. Men, women, even kids getting involved, young women taking off their required head covering, walking in the streets, waving their headscarves in the air, even burning them. And now schoolgirls are yes. also getting involved. Across the country, they're also protesting, and many are chanting, we don't want the Islamic Republic, and even Khamenei is a murderer. Now, that is extremely dangerous in the Islamic Republic of Iran. It can lead to imprisonment even death. And when I lived in Iran, I covered protests. I saw people shouting death to the dictator. But I never saw such explicit and bold criticism of the Islamic Republic and the supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. He's supposed to be untouchable. Now, these protests are on their 18th day, despite a heavy crackdown. Protests in previous years have generally fizzled out more quickly mm -hmm. than this. But these current ones are so widespread, they're harder to control. And so far, many of the young people protesting seem like they're not afraid to die. It's unclear what will happen, but what is clear is that the country will never be the same. Yeah, Ron Roxana, it has been so powerful to see the women who are who are taking control despite the threats. And the schoolgirls. Uh, I the mean, school those images girls, yesterday yeah. I was blown away. Um, we, as I mentioned, the official word from the Iranian government is that this is led by outside forces and right. that this isn't legitimate. Tell us more about uh, the latest on the protests there. Yeah, well, we're seeing more videos online today of protests at universities in Iran. Students at one college were seen chanting, Iranians died, they don't accept humiliation. And college students have been protesting daily since Saturday when the new academic year officially began in Iran. On Sunday, security forces besieged Tehran's prestigious Sharif University, widely considered the MIT of Iran, where students had been protesting peacefully. The student union said armed plainclothes agents brutal, brutally arrested hundreds of them, though many have since been released. And one woman shared on condition of anonymity that the ground was full of blood, and she added the authorities started scrubbing it clean the next day. Mm. The Oslo-based Iran Human Rights Group says at least 154 people, including children, have been killed in the protests since they began in mid-September. We also know many activists, lawyers, and journalists have been jailed. Yeah. You know, Roxana, we know that Ayatollah Ali Khomeini is not going to be flexible in any way or succumb to the demands of the people, but Iranian President uh, Ibrahim Raisi did admit that the government has, quote, weaknesses and shortcomings. Do you <coughs> see this as some form of a sign that at least government leaders recognize that something needs to change? Uh, I would say that most Iranians uh, would, are not taking his comments seriously. I mean, he did mm -hmm. acknowledge the country's weaknesses and shortcomings, but he repeated the official line that the unrest is a plot by mm -hmm. Iran's enemies. And a lot of Iranians just don't buy that. You know, they're fed up with the battered economy, with international isolation, with rules they see as repressive. They believe that the system can't be reformed and that it needs a complete overhaul. Lilia and Lana. Roxana, so appreciate having your perspective on all of this. Thanks. You bet.